guys and welcome back to another video here with crafty mama if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um what i'm gonna do today is i am going to give you guys an update on the canva pro um if you have been following me since the beginning um of when i started my channel which was like back in april um i did a lot of canva tutorials um at first like a lot of canva tutorials since I have stopped doing the Canva tutorials, there has been a lot of upgrades, a lot of updates, a lot of things that they've added to Canva Pro. Um, and I just want to take a second to kind of show you guys some of the things that have been added that's different from the last time I showed you guys a Canva tutorial. So I'm going to be creating like a Black Friday um, flyer. Um, this flyer everything was done in canva i didn't the only thing that's not from canva is the font and i purchased that and then uploaded it but that's still the same um i have showed you guys how to do that before um but the the entire flyer was created in canva um so i'm just going to recreate this flyer for you guys and i'm going to show you how to do it and then i'm going to show you all the new features um and everything that's just kind of been added to canva um so i'm just gonna hop right on into it the dimension that i have here it's an instagram post so i'm gonna go over to my home page um when you log on to your canva um and like i said i am using the canva pro um so you're gonna come to your home screen which this is it here you're gonna go up to create a design and I'm not gonna do a custom size. You can if you want to, but I'm gonna select Instagram post here. Um, anytime I wanna create something that's going to be for Instagram, that's gonna be uploaded on Instagram, a flyer, anything like that, I use that um, those dimensions because once you create that in the Instagram post dimensions, when you download it and like, let's say you're gonna upload it onto your phone or use it on your phone, you don't have to edit it. You don't have to shrink it. You don't have to make it bigger. You don't have to do anything. It uploads perfectly. The entire image uploads perfectly. So th since this is like an Instagram flyer, I'm going to select Instagram post. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the design that I had because it was already an Instagram post, which is this one here. So the only thing I'm going to do I'm going to add a page, but that's how I got here. Those are the dimensions that I used, the Instagram post dimensions. So I'm going to add a page and we're going to start from a blank canvas here. The first thing we're going to do is our background. Now I do already have mine uploaded, which was the, um, the money in the background. And I'm going to show you the website where I got it from. So this um, is the website I get a lot of my PNGs from. Um, they're free. So it's imagebin, I-M-G-B-I-N.com. And then up here in the search bar, I just typed in money. So you have the falling money here, falling money here. Um, you got all different kinds of money, uh, money bags, whatever you want to use. And then to get the stack, I just typed in money stack. And then I picked one that I liked, which I believe I picked this one right here. Um, but they have it with, it looks like coins or glitter. Here's another stack. Um, they have all different kinds of stacks that you can pick, that you can choose from, um, and they're all free. So you, would, you do have to create an account, but you don't have to pay for it. Um, so you would create an account and then, um, you'll be able to download your free images. Okay, so that's where I got the falling money from and that's where I got the money stack from that's in the back. Um, so I'm just gonna add my money, my falling money here. I downloaded the transparent one, which gave you two options when I um, looked up money. This one has a white background. This one has a transparent background. I downloaded this one. So I don't have to remove the background, don't have to do anything. And I'm just going to make it bigger and I'm going to adjust it. Okay. 
And I'm gonna add my stack as well. I think it was over here in the corner. Um, okay, I think that's fine. And then to get it transparent like that with the, the pink over it, you're gonna go over to your elements here. And I selected this box and then I made the box as big as the screen, as big as the canvas. I changed the color to, let me see. I changed the color, I think it was this light pink. Yep, so I changed the color to this pink. I went up to the transparency bar and then you just lighten the transparency. Okay. So that's how I got the background. Next, we're gonna add our girl here. I just got her off of um, Google. I think I typed in um, black hair model I might have or black uh, clothing model, something like that is what I typed in. I can't remember exactly, but I found her off of Google. And then I just removed the background. Now the background remover is available in the Canva Pro and you see how it just removed all of the background for me. I don't have to do anything else. So um, I don't have to use any other app. Now to get this, I'm gonna show you how I got this pink glow that's behind her. What you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight her. You're gonna duplicate it. And then the one that you, the second one that you have, you're gonna go up to filter. I'm sorry, you're gonna go to, which one is it? Effects. You're gonna go over to effects and we're gonna add a duo tone. So you wanna see all, I picked this blush one and then we wanna position her backward, okay? And then you're just gonna put her on top. And I think I kind of blurred it out a little bit. So you wanna go to a, I'm sorry, not crop. You wanna go to adjust. So select the one, the pink one, select adjust. And then I just blurred it a little bit, not a whole lot, just a tiny bit. So it's not so harsh. And then you're just gonna kind of place them on top of each other like that. and then move these things out the way and you're gonna select both of them, highlight both of them and group it so that now you can move the whole image without you know, moving just the top or just the bottom. Now we're gonna place our background back to where we had it. And now you have your girl highlighted. Okay, and I think I made her the length of the, the canvas here. Okay, and there is your girl with the glow around her. Um, now I'm gonna add the text. Now this text is, um, both of them I purchased from, um, creativemarket.com. Um, that's pretty much where I get a lot of my fonts now. They're a lot, um, they're luxury. They come with the license. So if I wanted to create something with that um, font and sell it, I can. Um, anytime you're using a font and you're selling it, you want to make sure you purchase it um, and not, got it, not get it for free. Um, you just may run into some issues if somebody recognizes the font and you got it for free. So these are purchased fonts. Um, the word, I'm gonna do the word pink first. I'm gonna go to my text and I'm gonna, so this is the font. It's already preset in my, um, in my font because this is part of my brand font. But here is the name of it, Amoret Script Alt. If you wanna type that in creativemarket.com, that's the name of this font. And then we're gonna type in the word pink make it bigger. Now I want this to be white and I want to 
highlight it, kind of like how it's neon or lit up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the word pink. I'm going to change it to the color white. And then one thing that they added is text effects. If you see my Photoshop video, you saw how we can kind of add effects to our text, drop shadows, glows, things like that. Canva allows you to do that now too. The difference is between Canva and Photoshop, you can only do one. So like in Photoshop, I can do a drop shadow, a stroke, and a glow all at the same time on the same word. In Canva, you can only pick one. Um, so it's still not as flexible as Photoshop, but they are adding more flexibility and you know, you're able to do a lot more than you were before. So we're just gonna add this neon effect here. Okay. So I really like that neon effect that they added in Canva. It definitely gives it more versatility, gives you, you know, the ability to create more, um, you know, more creative things instead of it just being kind of one note all the time. So I think it's cool that they're adding new features. Um, I'm going to add in the word Friday now. This font was also purchased on creativemarket.com. Here is the name of it. We are going to type the word Friday. And then I want this pink, the, the um, line right here um, that's on the K, I want it to be on top of the D. So I'm going to select Friday and I'm going to position backward. And now the K is on, I mean, the yeah, the line from the K is on top of it. Okay, let me move this over just a touch. Um, and then I'm going to type this 50% off. 50% off. Now I'm just basically adding my text. Oh, I wanted that to be capital. Um, and then this one also has the glow, but what I did was I turned it pink first. So I'm still using the same font as Friday. I turned it um, pink. I think it was this pink. Let me see. I went to effects and I added the neon glow. And then you can make it brighter. You can make it darker, however you want to do. Um, I like it brighter on this 50% off. And then everything, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it, duplicate it and drag it down here because now at this point it's just, you know, adding in the text. And this is still the same font as Friday. And then all weekend long, I'll show you how I made that. Um, basically, I just went to elements. I got a box, made it smaller like that. You turn it white. And then you type in it. It's the same font still. So all weekend. And then you just want to kind of line it up inside the box. And then like that. And then to group them so you can move it and shape it, you highlight the white box, hold shift, and then select the text and group. Now you can make it all bigger, smaller at the same time. You can move it around. Okay. And no code necessary. Same font. This doesn't have an um, effect on it. It's just white font. I mean, I'm sorry, white with the same font as Friday and everything else. Okay, so that is how you use the new effects that they have in here. Um, they do have like an eraser now. So let me show you 
Okay, let's remove this background. And then let's say I wanted to, I don't know, erase her hair. Over here, they have an eraser now that you can use. So let's say I wanted to erase all of this. Now I can. So they have an eraser that you can use now, as well as being able to remove the background. Okay, so that's also something else that they added. Um, what else? Let me see. More text effects. Um, happy. Let's see. Okay. Some of the other text effects that they have, and like I said, you can only do one at a time, which you know does kind of suck because now. Since I've been in Photoshop, I'm used to using more than one, but it's better than nothing. You can do hollow, which would basically like from in Photoshop be that you would just have the stroke and then the white, um, like turn your text white and then add a stroke. Um, they do have drop shadow. So with drop shadow, you would just have to play with it. Maybe turn the transparency up blur it and then you know fix the direction of it okay so that would be your drop shadow you just have to play with it because and it doesn't stay so when you create the setting it doesn't stay you're gonna have to adjust it every time you use it um, so that is a little annoying as well. Um, and then they have the curve as well. Um, so this is kind of in a circle because the curve is at 100%. You can make it, you know, the curve bigger or smaller. So you can curve it that way or you can curve it the other way. Um, I am trying to think if there's any else, anything else that they added that I'm not thinking of. I don't think there is anything else. You know, you do have the option to flip your image. I think you guys already knew that though. You can flip like that. I'm not sure if you guys knew that there was a flip option, but you can flip your images as well. Um, you can add filters. So if I want to make her black and white, we can do that. These filters were already there as well. I think that looks good with black and white too. Black and white or color. Okay, so it's a lot of features that they've added to Canva. You guys can definitely play around with it. Um, and like I said, you do have to have the pro version to access a lot of these features. Um, but I just wanted to come up here, come on here and show you guys some of the new things um, that they have added to Canva since the last time I, I showed you a Canva tutorial. I know it's been a while. Canva is where I started, but I have definitely, definitely grown a lot since then. Um, but if you still use Canva, there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanted to show you the new upgrades that they have. Um, Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you have any video ideas you'd like me to do, drop those down below as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.